Hello everybody, welcome to another World Championship official cast. We've got, well, replay cast in this case. We've got Blue Max with his Necromantic up against Yasek with his Orcs in Group A. And in the booth with me is Misspelled Tree. Hello! Hello? <laughs> uh oh, hello? <laughs> Okay, you must have cut out then. Hello. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? I can indeed. This looks uh, very interesting. This is KFOG's group, isn't it? The mm -hmm. the group of death for three of them. <laughs> 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 and, um, yeah, Yasek, he qualified through the champs ladder. He's gone for four guard biggins, a tackle blitzer, and a leader thrower. Gone for the troll, 12 players, Three rerolls and an apple. Very solid team, this, isn't it? Um, I don't know how mm. he's got so much stuff. Oh, because the leader, the leader gives him the three rerolls as well. Yes, yeah, so that gives him everything. Quite like that, actually. Two rerolls would be a bit light. Mm. Um, we've, I don't know if, if you upload these in order, um, because we've just been talking a lot about orcs and guard, and I'm looking at this team and thinking, okay, the orcs have got lots of guard, and then the necromantic <laughs> really don't, and I'm quite surprised. Yes, yeah, yeah. This is this is a very atypical necromantic team. So the build is pretty normal, right? The three rerolls, twelve players, only one go, and these three mm. all having block is completely normal. But yeah, the these four normally have guard, guard on your fleshies, guard on your wraiths. Uh, myself, Diamed, Andy Davo in Super League, Bright, Hiru, all of us, we all took four guard. Like, all of us took four guard. There was, the, the only thing we did differently was sometimes a wrestle on the wolf. So yeah, this is very atypical. It's block on both the fleshies and then tackle, double tackle on the wraith. So like mm. two dead skills for this matchup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know It'll why. It'll be quite good in, in the Wood Elf matchup, I guess. But yeah, they're just so good with guard wraiths. You just put them places and they're just so annoying because foul appearance and sidestep and then guard is so, such a good combination. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind the block on the fleshy so much. Like, and some people go one guard, one block, and hope that mm -hmm. they they get them in the right place. But um, yeah, I feel like the tackle two. Like, you've already got two frenzy guys, right? You've got two frenzy blockers. That's enough, you know. Like, if you face some dodge, you've got wolves. Um, it, I really, really do not like that he's taken these two tackles. I think the tackles, the tackle rates are bad. Yeah, guards just lock everything down. Yeah, exactly. It just, I, so, I think the fleshy. There's more of an argument with the fleshies, but I, I hate the tackle, the double tackle, because now he's got, now he's only got five skills right versus these orcs. He literally does not have tackle for this game. Um, but there you go. And he's, he won the toss, chose to kick. Um, Blue Max was a PlayStation qualifier. And Yasek qualified through the playoffs. <laughs> Keith with a completely measured response there. <laughs> I was trying to go a little bit more, uh, a little bit more tempered than that, Keith. But yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree. It's it's not what I would have done. No, I think this is. You have to take guard on. I think you have to take guard on the race. I think mm. you can go one guard, one block, or two block fleshies. Like, I think flesh, block fleshies is completely reasonable. Um, mm. But I think tackle rates is not. <laughs> but we'll yeah. see. I mean, like, again, I, I think there are wood elves in this group, and I, I guess when you play those, you'll be quite happy with that tackle. It'll be annoying, but overall, it just feels like it's, it's such a loss to not have that guard there. Yeah. <laughs> Tackle waves, yeah. Now now I've seen everything. <laughs> it's it's so weird when you've already got like when you've got the two wolves, right? They can just mm -hmm. they can just get things down. You've got other bits and pieces, that's the thing, isn't it? Mm. How can they tackle the any hands? <laughs> Keith asking the big questions. <laughs> They just throw the sheets over them and wrap them up. <laughs> um, mm. No, it's resurrection, uh, bang, bang, fire. It is just uh, so the, the teams remain constant through the entire tournament. And they are somewhat balanced by, uh, you know, 
the better teams getting slightly less than the slightly worse teams, right? Like Orcs get six skills and Necro gets seven. Um, oh, gets a and, nice And remove. again, block is a good skill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Again, block with the remove. If that didn't have block, that wouldn't have knocked you down. Would not have got the removal. So mm. sometimes block's pretty good. Yeah, like, like I really, I, I really don't, I really don't hate block on fleshies, honestly, and like, even, or one block, one guard. I think the way I look at it is, you should think which one is best for you and go to. Mm. Whether that's because you're worried about a matchup or you're more comfortable with one or the other or whatever, I feel like you should pick one and double it. But even if you're not and go one block, one guard, I don't even hate that. Um, one card, one block, but I I do hate tackle <laughs> tackle <laughs> raids. I can't tell you how much I hate these tackle raids. Oh dear. Well, I just got rid of one of them for you. Yeah, good, <laughs> you good. Don't hate it anymore, so. Good. I can print he had guards who was worth blitzing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, media apple. Yeah, mm -hmm. saved him from the KO. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask about um, what you think about that. I, to me, it's 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 a pretty easy choice because um, cause the apothecary isn't that good on injuries anymore. So if you lose a good piece on a KO and you want it for the drive, just use it. But yeah, don't know what you think, Jim, on that instant apo. Especially early, right? That was like turn two. So that's yeah. the absolute dream scenario for using the apo. Yeah, turn two, get some use out of it. Um, top quality player as well, right? Guard Biggins, so like one of the most valuable players. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely great apple. It's quite like a... I don't know, it feels a bit standoffish still so far, and I don't know, because... I understand the Necro not wanting to base up, because once you base up on the Light Guard, you're just going to get stuck. I don't know if the Orcs can maybe be a, a bit more aggressive and, and start taking some of those basing things, but maybe you don't want to, I don't know. The problem with the orcs is they don't want to expose people to the wolf hits, right? Like the, mm, the okay. The, that's the big the big thing for them is the wolf hits. They really can't afford wolves to pick people off. So that's why he's dodged him away. Even. Mm. Now, I mean, there is there is a hit here if you put in all three players and stuff but he's so he can't like you know he's really struggling to get the wolf hits um, on these big ones. yeah so that's why the big ones are just locking down the edges of the line like that because at worst the wolf's going to get the two dice and then be based on you yeah. um and the second hit would be uphill yeah and he can't use his guard fleshies to <laughs> to engineer good hits <laughs> so <laughs> he's, he's you know they're both stuck a little bit they're both stuck a bit if 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 the orcs do something differently they'll get picked off by wolves and if the wool if the wool if the neck will force something with the wolves then uh the, you know they might friends themselves into trouble i was just thinking like this troll's been horrendous i was just thinking like at what point do you need to start pushing though because you are now on turn five and against a team that's quite good at getting in the way you haven't moved that far um, but that um, troll is not helping, which might be part of why they haven't gone already. Yes, yeah, that was, that was probably it, wasn't it? He probably wanted to get moving foot earlier and the stupid troll <laughs> stopped him. Yes. It's at least the third, that's at least the third turn the troll's gone stupid out of five. Oh, that's pretty bad, isn't it? This is double GFI and then smash the goo with tackle. Pretty good. Mm. If you fail those rushes, though, one dice hit on the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's going to happen, isn't it, at the end of the day? Like, yeah. it's, you've got to, you've still got to push forward. You can't just not push forward. Mm -hmm. No, I liked going that turn, because I think if you left it another turn, it was going to start getting late and dry. Yeah. And now he finally does get to pick someone off with the wolf as well. He's made a kill with the, the fleshy. Like my favourite animation that headbutt and everyone else hates it. <laughs> yeah, I was shocked. Dimmy despises it and I was like, why? why? I think it's, it's so good. Oh, I hate going this deep. Glorious. There's absolutely no reason no, I, won't I, won't give help in. I know you don't want to I'm get victorious, moved, but I'll just help you. I will move. defend. I will defend. Jim Badger. Oh, thanks very much, Nitromus. 
this was a uh, he's making a lot of AV breaks isn't he Blue Max here yeah. he stuns without animals. using the, without using the rock gloves Fire. Sorry, rush, rush. Rush. Guess this is all right. Yeah, if, if this this dodge, you probably should just. Oh my hit god! Get hit. <laughs> Needed to one dice because the troll was stupid, so that you could then help the troll stop being stupid. Yep. I hate trolls. I find them so frustrating whenever I use them. Yeah, yeah, I don't like them. I... <laughs> It's funny because, so, you know, to, to go out, I'll, I'll pause it. I'll pause it and go on a big troll tangent. <laughs> um, in the Super League, in season four, the season that I won, um, uh -huh. I, choose, I chose the, tro the troll because I figured loads of people would go lizard men. And I was terrified of lizard men because I'd like, I thought they were the best team. And I thought, well, if I don't have a troll against lizard men, I just lose against lizard men with orcs. So I have to take a troll. And I took a troll. No, one, nobody took lizard men. And then I won Super League with the troll. I was like, okay, well, I still didn't like it, right? Like Andy uh -huh. didn't take a troll, and Diamond didn't take a troll. And I was like, yeah, you, you both, you both, you guys are right. I'm not going to take a troll again. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I t season six, I took orcs and I took the troll because I thought, well, it won me last time. And then you know, I did rubbish, and the troll was terrible. And it's like. It's just adding variants, and you just don't need to add variants, right? Like your orcs, mm -hmm. you're already, you're already stronger, and it's good. And really, if lizards are good, you should just be using lizards, not orcs. So it's not a position they should be in that they should think, oh, well, the troll helps against orcs, be against lizards, because if lizards are better, just use lizards and do not use mm -hmm. orcs. Is is my verdict? So I would never take troll on orcs ever again, because. If I lose to, if I'm scared of lizards, I should be playing lizards. <laughs> there you go. Mm. I just think it always feels unreasonable when, like, you make the effort of giving it a friend, and it's still like, yeah, not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it, it just, it's just variance. Like, you, you just lose. It. Like, it's so slow. Like, it, it, do, it, it really only helps you against, like, you know, undead sometimes and other orcs sometimes and zombie bird. that helps actually yeah always gone for the just the punch mm. sorry didn't mean to take you off the no, topic there but yeah just it's a big guy uh... it's completely fine he's uh he's in a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle will he will he try to go in and turn it's funny we're seeing a few people trying to go in on turn seven here it doesn't mm. look too bad to try and go on turn seven here because what, what's key is there's only like one ghoul and two wolves, isn't there? There's no, there's no second ghoul, so the two turn score is a lot worse for the necromantic. Re -roll the... Did we re-roll that one dice? Yeah. That's spicy. If that's a skull, you're in complete... Well, you're just getting served if you skull that, aren't you? Well, I think he was just going to score. That's that's what I mean. I think he, was just, he just felt he had to score, right? So just get the push mm -hmm. and then blitz the wolf and then score. I really did think he was going to... I felt yeah, happy. Yeah, right. Mm. So the Necra close to a stop here now, then. Not, yep. not there yet, but it's definitely... Well, if he powed... It would have... Oh, and he could get the 2D with this. Oh, he took skulls. Okay, he gets the power, so he gets the 2D on the ball. No, he's already blitzed. Oh, of course, there's a yeah. zombie right there. There's a zombie right there. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Oh. When he gets the push, but this is still a lot of stuff in the mm -hmm. way, isn't there? And he you might even be able to first. get this ghoul. Yeah, 2D now to free the ghoul as well. The, ghoul, the wraith. He does have this uh, scoring threat over here, though, doesn't he? Will he touch him? Or Maybe he should tag that with the wraith. Oh, Are we going to see Mr. Throw doing something? It's a lit. It's hard. This this is hard, isn't it? How yeah, hard? yeah. This is really hard. <laughs> Blitz this one and block this one, and then go out here, and then block with a troll, and then you can go like one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI throw, I guess, right? If you block mm. these two down, like block with a troll first, then block with him, and then one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI pass. 
potentially. I guess that's the best play. It's the pal. Precarious too, though, because with no rerolls, if it goes wrong here, he oh, had one reroll. Yeah. Oh, he stood that guy up. He couldn't block with him. Oh, he did the Wait. pass to there, and then was going to hand off. Are we throwing to the bigger? I think so. I'm confused by that one. Yeah. Or was that just an inaccurate pass? I'm I'm confused. Oh, wildly inaccurate. It could have been wildly inaccurate, couldn't it? Yeah. So I was just wondering, was that was yeah. that just supposed to go forward and he just rolled badly? Yeah. It'll be, yeah. Yeah. So this guy stood up, so he couldn't have done that block. It'll be wildly inaccurate, surely, and that explains mm. it going directly across. No, no, it's just not yeah. Yeah. So it could have been throwing to the... Is the big one got enough movement to get there and hand off? Or is, or is it a throw to the yeah, blitzer? Double GFI. Double, okay. yeah. double GFI. But mm. That's really weird, isn't it? Just better to just throw at this guy. I would have thought so. Especially with the reroll having been used on the dodge. Yeah, I think he definitely should have just passed it to him. Weird. Well, there you go. The tackle, tackle rates getting the job done somehow. Yeah. What I'm learning so far from the second game of come, come on with you for commentary is whatever I think is right and wrong about the builds is all wrong. So, <laughs> well, in one game, in one game, we'll we'll <laughs> see over over time. Um, mm -hmm. You know what what they work. I mean, there's been some hot dice, hasn't there? Yeah. Things can happen. It's always the thing with Blood Bowl, right? First of all, everyone who's got here has won a lot of games at something, so they're definitely good. And um, and second of all, there's, there's always dice involved. Whatever you take. Yeah. He's just going to bang it in, it looks like. it looks like This is very, forward. like, push forward early, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very aggressive. Trying to get his wraith back, maybe. It's interesting with this format because the three points for a win is 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 really good. <laughs> Don't know more sophisticated way of saying that, but yeah, you could you could not lose any game, but if you've drawn them all, you've only got the same as one win, right? Yes. Um, so. You do, I guess, want to play for a win if you're in a situation like the Necromantica in now, where it looks like you could. But how to do that, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe you think you're better on defence and you can just get it in quick and play some defence. Because mm. the defence was pretty good last time, so... And, I mean, he gave up the side. Like, he gave up the side, didn't he? Like, you know, like mm. the rule of five slash... Uh... Like, you know, Space Invaders set up there. He did give him the sideline, so yeah, why not just take it? Because, he, and he also can't defend the sideline really because you've got wolves. So it's pretty hard for him to defend the sideline as well. So. Having said that, back to the middle now, right? Um, yes. Yes, I would. I would, but then I wouldn't have gone there in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Do go back to the middle. Oh, I thought we were going to claw the troll for sure. Yes, yeah, I'd have liked. I'd have liked a, some claw trolling to have occurred. Having said that, maybe it's better just doing what they're doing because the troll is now on a zombie, hasn't got a friend to activate it. Kind of a lot of team value that's just stood there. Um, it is, but he didn't dodge out the. Wraith, right? So you could knock down the Wraith, then you could fill in these two. Oh, can you fill in this square? One, two, three, four, five. Six, oh, five, cheeky here. chain push. Oh, yeah, just these two. You just fill these two and then yeah. you run around, blitz him, and then you get the. I think the problem is you can't get in the ball because he's bloody got stand firm, hasn't mm -hmm. he? But uh, I would, wouldn't mind chaining him into the fleshy. I mean, I was going to say I like not dodging the Wraith just because now they've got to roll foul appearance and it has to be a. A five plus, right? It has to be a knockdown or a stumbles for it to go down. Otherwise, it's going to keep taking more blocks. 
It is a 3D though, the first one. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, with block? He just 3D'd him with block. Very sensible. Is it worth a troll rush to base the ball here? Um, maybe. <laughs> Looks like it's happening. Okay, yeah, there you go. Wow. I mean, my instinct was no, <laughs> but it looked like it was happening. <laughs> it's just a two plus to three, I minute. Mean, it's but he's not blitzing him. This is where the lack of guard's gonna feel really bad. Like everything here is a one dice. Oh, so, well, now you've made two dice. Yeah, this is a two D, and then he gets the knockdown, and now he gets the wolf. The wolf can okay. fully claw him. Yeah. Still two into one on this, after a rush. Should have ball carrier blocked him, should mm. <laughs> Wimp. Oh. <laughs> there you go, removal. Nice. You can just run away, can't you? Uh, or not. Why, why are one dice powers always removals? <laughs> I don't know, it's the law, isn't it? It is, just like one of those Bud Bowl laws. It's the same as if, like, if you have two players who both go down and are both down, the one with the higher armor is going to be the one that gets hurt 100% of the time. Yes. Like, that's just certain things are just Bud Bowl <laughs> hidden mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every time, yeah. That's so weird that he moved back to assist this. Like, I would have just not bothered hitting it, right? Because he can foul mm. appearance and he foul appearance blitzed it as well. I guess, you know, it's a scoring threat, so deal with that. It's not a scoring threat. <laughs> there we go, dealt with. No touchdown for the Wraith. He's going to grab the ball in those shoes. <laughs> Yes, the longer you think about the reroll, the more chances Kaz is, yeah. It's the same with following up as well, right? The, more, the longer oh, you yeah. take to follow up, the more, the more deadly the block is. <laughs> Every time. Well, this is looking really rough for the Orcs now with the, uh, the troll, but I guess both Wraiths are down, so it doesn't matter, right? You know, like, normally this would be horrendous because you're down two guards, but here it's not so bad. <laughs> I mean, it just feels really hard for the Necro to move forward because you've basically only got three mo mobile players and that's always the issue for Necro, right? Like, they've got some very fast players but the rest of the team can't go with them. Yes. Yeah. Not so much, like, in the Eurobowl rules, right, where they had the, uh, they, they actually got the, the extra goal and the reserve. Extra goal, yeah. But now for this, yeah, see, it's, it's really rough that they are... Uh, we only have three players and they've obviously got massive targets like surely the ghoul is getting blitzed this turn and everything else is getting based and it's going to be really tricky for him. like the fact that he's exposed both of these out of not exposed either right out of kept out of kept these zombies screening and then kept all three of these players behind but now i mean they're definitely he's definitely getting i mean he's already been based and he's surely going to blitz the ghoul I would like to give Necro more of a go, they're an interesting team. Do not like that GFI, but... Yeah, they're, they are interesting. I I, uh, I didn't particularly like them in Super League, just because I wasn't very good with them. Another removal. There's so lots of removals actually on either side now. I was now. just thinking, how many players are even left here now? So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think for it's the nine aside. Yeah, I think it's nine yeah. aside. Okay. Yep. There is a massive breakthrough here for the necro. On. He's uh, not blocked with a zombie though. So it's, it's less on now. That was a definite zombie block for me, and then, you know, like, oh my god, I, I can't speak. I tried to say a sentence and just no uh -huh. words came out. <laughs> um, 
the zombie could have blocked here, and then mm -hmm. on a pow, even mm -hmm. even on a yeah on a on a pow you get the breakthrough, and then the the fleshy blitzes here, and then you've got yeah. strength four there, and then this guy comes through, and then these can dodge and walk through, and then then you're away. I think he had to make this block. I know it's a blockless block, but just getting to blitz with a with a flesh golem was so good. Yeah, I see that. I guess you could sort well not with that push. You could have sort of done it by bringing. Oh no, that zombie's already moved to the top right. I was thinking the zombie at the top right hadn't moved, but it has. Yeah. So now it's like, what are you even doing right now? It's just <laughs> you're milling around, waiting for another turn. That's I don't know what this is. No, it's good. Nothing's, nothing's doing anything. It's just all bad. <laughs> It's a one into an uphill. No. Yeah, one into an uphill, isn't it? Blimey. Now you've got to stay there because you need that not to be free to move. Wow. <laughs> and I mean, it's just going to free the other... This one's going to free him instantly anyway. Yep, instant power. Mm. That was a disaster. That was a disaster turn. That uh, blitz choice. Just... It was just the whole turn, right? Like, the whole yeah. turn was just... Yeah. It blocked with the wrong player, pushed in the wrong square, and then everything else was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going to base everything and hope for the best. <clears throat> disaster, oh, disaster. Oh, out of rerolls. I think, like, one thing I always think when I watch turns that I don't get in games like this is when you play these pressure games, like, sometimes you do just panic like that absolutely has happened to me in turns before where you get into your own head and you just lose sight of what you're trying to do and you panic and that is like one of the really tough things to do in Bloodborne is to always stay calm even when you're in a spot where you've lost sight of what you're trying to do a bit mm. and, and what's very relevant that we can't see here is the time right the uh, the turn timer could yes, have, could true. have been like could have no time bank left at this point. No idea how fast you these players are. So yeah, you know, like if he'd been running out of time, could have just been panic clicking and stuff. And and yeah, you know, it could be an absolute blind panic <laughs> of, mm. of time pressure. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no! You freed up York. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh dear. Was there a different choice there with that? I'm, I think there were different choices maybe earlier in the turn, but at that point maybe you had to take that and yeah, dice, otherwise yeah. it would just free it up anyway. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's committed now after his, after mm -hmm. like that other turn, that other turn lost it, the turn, I mean it's not lost yet, obviously it might not pick up the ball and stuff, the orcs, got no rerolls. But that that turn turn thirteen for neck roll was was uh, oh well, no pick up potentially game losing <laughs> but he's still in it. Would this be the first nil nil draw if the world champs if it goes that way because it's looking possible? Yeah, this would be the first nil nil. Yep. Yeah. We are on turn 15 now, and neither team is particularly close to scoring. No. Oh. Blue Max feels re you know, he's still three rerolls like a turn ago, and now he's used two rerolls. He's failed everything, and like you know, failed the one D, failed the dodge, mm. and uh, it's looking almost over for him. But over for. The necro to score, yes, for the draw, not necessarily because the orcs have to pick it up. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, the zero rerolls is his biggest friend right now. Oh, but there they go. That's it. <laughs> had, to, had to do one GFI for uh, to get in. Oh, wait, he didn't do the GFI. He's got to do another GFI. And now there's another three plus to hit it. Yep. And to surf him as well. Yeah, you. I, oh, I was thinking stand up the other one first. Yes. Because now you've given yourself a rush. Oh, no. Oh, okay. We're trying to do it on you guys. Oh. Oh, hmm. Oh, I wouldn't 
done that. Oh no. Oh, we've oh. just we've, we've pushed it onto them as well. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> what? Um, would you? That's a fair question, though. Would you have gone for the one dice there, or tried what I guess they were trying to do there is get the two dice by doing the dodge first? I would have gone for the one. I think one into one. Because I'm assuming if they hadn't used dodge on the, on the first one, they would have then gone for the two dice on the ball. Yes. Uh, I, no, I don't know. That was. I, I, that was. I, don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have Didn't done I that. Get... I wouldn't uh -huh. have done that. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, there you go. Commiserations, Blue Max. Congratulations, Yetzik. That was a, that was a really close one for me. We nearly drew that, didn't we? Were very lucky to, you know, in the end with no rerolls. But uh, yeah. turn 13 for Blue Max killed him. Who, who knows the reason for it? Um, I, I feel a bit sorry for the Necro because they were so close. Like it felt like it was in their hands, but but in the end, it was a mistake that cost it. It was it was a mistake that blitz on the on the on the big end. That was that was the that was the turn to break through, and then it was just it was just an, a, it was the worst turn he played over the turn. Like it was it was weird, right? Because it was the best chance he had to score, and then he played mm. the worst turn that he played of the game. <laughs> it was it entirely the wrong time. So there you go. But anyway, you know, um, still overall it was well played. Just the, just a mm -hmm. killer turn, and uh, yep. So there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Miss Peltry. Glorious having you in the booth. Thanks, Jimmy. And thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.